I'm Jen, and I wanted to go deeper with my friends about their life experiences. This is Heart to Heart, and today I'm talking with Chriselle, who is... Number one, a multitasker, to an imperfectly perfect mom. Still trying to figure that out. And three, an artist, a creator. How do you balance being a mom, but also working at the same time? Because yeah. it's so hard, and I think it's something that a lot of working moms don't get to really talk about. I think the key thing is really just figuring out a system, like a solid system. And knowing that it's okay that you can't do it all. Like for me, I had a really hard time with that in the beginning because I was like, I'm gonna be a full-time mom and a full-time working woman. Yeah, Yeah, the baby. Baby, red, yeah, it's red. She's learning how to say her colors right now, by the way. And I was so burnt out at the end. Although it kind of worked in the first few weeks, like I was so depleted by the end of the, the month. Um, and that's when I had to like really reevaluate what was realistic for me. So when I spend time with Chloe, I try to give my 100%. And when I'm at work, she usually doesn't come with me and I give my 100% there. So I try to kind of separate the two. Your time is so valuable. <laughs> like that's one thing that I learned after motherhood. It's like, you have 30 minutes, you could finish so much in 30 minutes. Before I'll be like, oh, it's not enough time. But now it's like 30 minutes is, is sufficient. What is your mom's schedule like? Like what's a normal day for you? Oh gosh. Right now she's in daycare, right? Yeah. So 6 a.m. wake up, play with her until about 7, and then we start cooking her breakfast. I only know how to make one thing, which is French toast. So, and it's a pretty good French toast. 8 o'clock, we're out the door. She's in like a toddler program right now. And then after I drop her off, I am back at the office. It takes a while to drive here. Yeah, but you know, I actually enjoy it now. Like. I just learned to embrace it. It's an hour, sometimes hour and a half drive, but it's like me time. I finally get, not that I could check emails or anything, but I feel like through podcasts, I'm able to get a lot of like, the reading that I don't have the time to do anymore done. Um, with like a lot of great podcasts and the audiobooks. audiobooks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then at 6 p.m. we come home, we cook her dinner, put her, give her a bath, read bedtime stories, and then it starts all over again in the morning. One thing that I didn't really know until after going through pregnancy and having all of this stuff be online is all of the kind of criticism and stuff Uh, that's like rampant on the internet. Have you faced that? Because I feel like it's like every parent who voices their opinion on the internet is open for criticism. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I, I wasn't ready for it either, actually, when I first you know, posted a photo of Chloe, the first few comments were like, oh, you're holding the baby wrong, like her neck is, you know, like I think the very first photo that I posted when she was born. So I was just like, wow, okay, this is what I'm putting myself into now. Yeah, that was a little tough in the beginning because especially, you know, right after you give birth, you get like, I don't know, I was super hormonal. hormonal, And I'm like, (laughs) who is she to tell me that? Like, I got so emotional. I was like crying like every day. Everyone has something to say, especially when it comes to motherhood. Everyone thinks their way is the right way. And you just have to know that you're doing your best and what you're doing for your daughter, you feel like it's good for you and your lifestyle. And a lot of people were telling me that I, I should wean Chloe off of her bottle at around one years old. I obviously had a hard time doing that. And I had other moms that were like, you know, it's totally fine. I weaned her off at two years old. You know, everyone has a different, I guess, journey with motherhood. And you just can't base off of one person's opinion that you're doing something right or wrong, so. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's a really important distinction. It's like, maybe I'm not doing the best, but I'm trying my best, Yeah. you know? Yeah. And I think that's all we can do, because you can't do more than what you can handle. Yeah, no, totally. So, I, I feel the same way. I'm sure you've probably experienced this, but also breastfeeding. When I went into breastfeeding, of course I wanted to, but I wasn't producing as much milk as I was hoping to, so I was supplementing at the same time while I was breastfeeding. And just the amount of criticism that I got from women saying like, oh, breast breastfeeding is like the only way to go. And I'm like, you know, I'm doing my best. I'm trying my best. Even right after I had my baby, it took like, three or four days before my milk came in yeah and so my pediatrician i remember she weighed the baby and she was like oh she's not gaining enough weight you need to supplement and i went home and i just cried because i 
I really wanted to try exclusively yeah. breastfeeding and I felt like it was already a speed bump like as soon as I tried to start. Yeah. I mean, we got past that, my milk came in and I, I'm i still actually exclusively breastfeeding, but it's, it's so hard because yeah. you're, you're sacrificing not just your physical bodily nutrition and like everything you consume, so much of that is going to the baby, but yeah. every two to three hours yeah. when she needs to eat. Like, a lot of work. It's like you're the sole person who can give her her nutrition, you know? So I wanted to ask you, what's the hardest, most difficult thing that you've faced since Chloe was born? So I think the hardest, most difficult thing for me was definitely the guilt. Not doing enough, not being enough. I had guilt during my pregnancy when I saw your stuff and I was like, how is Chriselle, how does she have everything yeah. together? And she looks so great being pregnant and I felt like such a beached whale that had to live in sweatpants. And but so I, you were you were such a no, an but inspiration for thank me. Thank you. But I think that's exactly where the problem lies is that there's so many influencers, myself I included, know. that portray this perfect image of pregnancy, perfect image of I got my body back in like a week. And obviously, you know, the consumer, which is like the followers, that's their reality in a sense of, oh my gosh, she looks amazing after having her baby. But really, it's like, what image? How is that going to tell the whole story? So it's just not how it really is yeah. to experience it for yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think you and I, we have a responsibility. And I think after I had Chloe, I started becoming a bit more open about just the problems I had just because I felt like crap to be honest when I saw all these moms that had these crazy bodies and that were working out a week after they gave birth <laughs> hashtag you know two Fit weeks post par postpartum yeah. and I was like just to be really honest I tried working out oh I think it was three weeks after and it literally killed me that I didn't go back to the gym for like a good solid three to four months I needed help getting out of bed yeah still when you were like three weeks four weeks and thinking about working out i i needed a hand to physically yeah. help me get out of bed. yeah so oh my gosh yeah like, I, <laughs> I mean that that's exactly my point it's like there's not enough pe i'm sure there are people that are doing it but there's not enough women that are sharing that they can that yeah what they actually look like after postpartum That's like you true. still look pregnant after oh, yeah. at least I did oh, for a good six months mm -hmm. not that I was like faking it when I was pregnant but I felt like I had to glamorize it for whatever reason but I feel like if I ever were to get pregnant again I, I feel like I would be a little bit more more real instead of I got dressed up again to take a OOTD you know um, which is totally fine because that's the business that we're in and that's like what we do for a living but I think I don't know I just feel like there are too many women out there that probably feel the same way that we do after seeing like all these perfect images. It's hard. yeah it's hard I wish it didn't have to be that way though. yeah, yeah. No, I agree with yeah. you I wish the after part were as celebrated as people taking their monthly pregnancy process yeah. photos. Like, it should be process photos of it going down, Down, too. yeah. Someone told me, it took you a year to get pregnant, so you should give yourself a year to get back. I've heard that, too. Yeah, that really kind of put things to perspective for me, instead of like, why am I not looking a certain way, or why am I not losing all the baby weight in like, two, three months, you know? I mean, I feel like you're just a wealth of wisdom for having Chloe be almost two now compared to where I am. What is something that you would tell your previous Chriselle uh -huh. going through these struggles? It's just not to be such a control freak and not to things go according to plan because for me I felt like I had this plan and if it didn't go according to plan it was just all wrong. But I think now that Chloe is almost two, I've learned so much more about myself and so much more about motherhood by going off the grid and not really doing things that I plan to or other moms necessarily always told me that I have to do. You have to trust yourself. Yeah, trust myself and my own judgment. I think that's one thing that I will definitely do for my second baby <laughs> when that happens. Well, I'm glad we finally got to do a video together and there's still so much for me to learn, but you know, I'm gonna like be hitting up those text messages to you asking like, 
in the middle of the night like oh how do i get her to sleep yes no <laughs> text me whenever you want and you're doing such a good job thank you i hope you guys enjoyed watching and got a little bit of wisdom and insight from crystal make sure you go and check out her youtube channel i get so many styling tips just from watching you live your life thank like you like a freaking rock star mom <laughs> i know you're like oh i'm not a perfect i think you're amazing if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more of these heart-to-heart -heart videos, I'm going to stick them in a playlist. It'll be right here. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.